as BS mandate is transmission and distribution. And I know that in many instances BL was trying to also do energy, to produce energy, but that's not their mandate. Um, what has failed is the process previously in the, in the previous government uh, with the PUC, and I know that PUC and the BL have always been having the struggle. And my, 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 my message to both of them have been, listen, we have to stop this foolishness, and we need to be able to work together. And I believe that we're seeing that now. Um, the PUC, BL, and the Ministry of Energy all have to be able to, to be able to work together. So on Saturday, um, you know, after the funeral for the uh, late um, Honorable Michael Spat, then I'll have to be able to fly to Cancun to be able to meet with AMLO and his officials um, from CFE to see how if they can be able to to to, to, to stop the, the, the rollouts or the blackouts um, in, in Belize. Um, as the CEO has, of BL has explained, we have two engines that are going to be commissioned. One supposed to be this week, which is about 30 megawatts. And once we do that, then we could be able to hold our own. Fortunately, we had already bought a 21 megawatts that is already stationed in San Pedro that should be commissioned by the end of the month. Once we have that, that will give us a capacity of about 51 megawatts of electricity. It means then that if CFE would need to cut Belize, these generators could take over without anybody losing um, electricity. And then once CFE then can provide for back again to us, then we shut down these engines and get from, from, from Mexico. I know some people say, well, why will you buy from the Mexicans? Well, we buy from the Mexicans because it is cheaper than using the, the diesel engine. So, um, so we have a plan. I understand the frustration and uh, myself get upset when my house is um, in Blackout because my house gets Blackout too, by the way. You know, um, you um, we you do. I don't have a generator. <laughs> I don't have a generator. <laughs> um, um, so I understand the frustration and, and, and it has a direct impact on all the work that we've done these three months, these three years in the economy, the tourism, call centers, um, in agriculture, in production, you know, so we cannot afford this.